I remember seeing Dave Batista for the first time ever and thinking I had never seen a, a human being that looked like him. Like he just was I, like I remember taking a double take and quick funny Dave story. So when they brought Dave up finally from OVW, I would I had been on the road. Me and Devon were riding together and they were bringing him up to do the uh, the gimmick with Reverend Devon when he was the deacon. Yeah. And we were out at a like a like an Applebee's or something and we're eating just us three. And as we're leaving, you know, Devon's. You know, pretty well known and people are wanting his autograph from tough enough they're wanting my autograph and then there's poor dave who looks like a maniac you know just the biggest human being ever yeah. and we get in the car we're walking to the car and he's like man i really hope somebody someday somebody wants my autograph and i'm just like you're gonna be just fine buddy <laughs> like don't don't you worry <laughs> I, you're, you're gonna be okay i've never seen someone's traps grow out of their ears before and have you ever noticed He's got long arms. Mm. I used to ask him, I'd be like, you can tie your shoes standing up, can't you? <laughs> like, he just has these big, long monkey arms that are just enormous. <laughs> but, I mean, you, as you know, the nicest oh. guy on earth. Literally the nicest human being. So He's also such a, a shining example of hard work pays off. He is, yeah. And I think that people think that he got as successful as he did in Hollywood simply because he was successful no. in WWE. Absolutely not. And they missed the part of the story where he went broke again, again. after leaving yeah. WWE and then worked his way back yeah. up in Hollywood. I've and heard, now he is what he is. I've heard that if it wasn't for Guardians. Yes. Yeah, that that's what kind of pulled him out. But, and tell me if you agree. For my money, because I look at, I view all all wrestlers that turn into actors, I'm a fan of. Sure, me too. I think he's the best character actor. He certainly has the the best reach. And here's what is amazing. the best range. Here's what am is amazing about that. In 2004, um, you know, 2005, Stacy Keebler started date, dating an actor named Jeff Stoltz. If you're familiar with Jeff, he was on Wedding Crashers. He was the guy. He was the the groom at the main wedding. And Jeff was at a show backstage, and Dave came up to Jeff, and I was standing right there, and asked him for acting tips. Wow. And because I used to go stay with Jeff in LA, like I was there when Stacy was on um, Dancing with the Stars, and I stayed with Jeff. And me and Jeff used to laugh about that because he asked Dave, Dave asked him for acting tips, and then now look at him. Look at what he's Wow. Performed. And you know who Stacy, the other actor Stacy dated after that was, right? Oh, Cloney. Yeah. Absolutely. I remember yeah. seeing them. I covered the red carpet for the Oscars. Yeah. I remember seeing Stacy Keebler walk down with George Clooney. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like, both of my worlds are colliding right yeah, here. That's, 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 sur that's just surreal to me. Because, I mean, I'd say arguably in the last... 20, 30 years, there hasn't been a bigger actor than Clint. He's certainly one of them. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? Like, it's it's him, it's Leo. Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. yeah. I so. mean, now it's The Rock. It, yeah. Like, like, yeah. It's crazy. And and a wrestler dated one of the most famous actors in the world. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, but I, th I think you're right. Like, Dave has the best range of all the wrestlers turned actors. When I saw Knock at the Cabin. Yeah, that was the movie I was going to say. It's like, geez. That first, that opening scene with him and that little girl. Yeah. That's a scene that, Getting I don't think, bumps. I don't think I, I can picture another wrestler delivering it the way he did because he's so big and menacing, but there for a, there for a moment, that went out of your mind and he was that guy trying to earn her trust. That's yeah. a skill. That is a skill. 